Hey guys, how's it going? A Toxic Ninja here today to show you guys how to use my plugin Global Market. So basically, uh, if I just go help real quick, and uh, as you can see from that previous help page, uh, the, it's I have permissions, vault, essentials, and market. Vault is required for this mod or for this uh, plugin. Uh, then you also need uh, some form of currency or economy. So I just have the essentials in this case. Then you can see my market plugin. Um, I am going to I'm going to keep it just as market. So. Uh, so the commands, there's buy, sell, check, offers, sell offers, buy offers, clear offers, which is an admin command to clear out old uh, empty offers like completed from a database that, you know, an admin or you can run it, an admin can do it or you can run it from a, the uh, console. That's the only one of the command of this that you can run from the console. Abort offer or if I go help market two, you can also see there's collect, which will collect the items from an offer. So it's starting out, you know, I am rich right now, as you can see, uh, 100,000 million billion trillion, 9.999 trillion dollars. Um, uh, let's say I am, you know, I want to buy, I don't know, let's, let's say I want to buy a diamond sword. So you can either use this, like the name, so I could be like diamond sword. Um, there's a lot of different known things, so that you could do diamond sword, you could D sword. Um... Not sure about Sword Diamond, but I don't know. There's variations. Uh, you can look in the uh, items.csv file that will be in your plugin in the plugins config folder. Uh, and that will have basically a list of all the items for different names, but not everyone has access to that. But pretty much like most acceptable things. You can use names or you could use IDs. I don't actually know the ID of a Diamond Sword, so I'm just going to say uh, D Sword. Uh, then I want to buy one of them. And let's say I want to pay $1,000 for it. So that will add the buy offer. And so you can either use offers to see all offers. And as you can see, offer number one, buying one diamond sword, ID 276 for $1,000 each. And then the collection box, the first number is how many you have to collect from that offer. And the second number is how much money you have to collect. And that's more for selling, but you can also, if you get a better, if somebody sells it for cheaper than you're buying it for, you get some of your money back. Because, uh, let's see, uh, as you can see, I lost my $1,000 uh, because I, it, it takes it out of your account. And if I were to abort the offer, I could get that money back. But now, uh, let's give myself a diamond sword. And now let's say somebody else comes along and says, hey, I want to sell this diamond sword. So sell, you can use, uh, you know, the name again. So D sword, diamond sword, I could use the ID 276. Or what another cool thing is you can, if you have it in your hand and you don't know a good name for it, or like you can't find the name, you can't, you don't know the ID, you can just say sell hand or buy hand or check hand and it will get the item that's in your hand. So I, I could say sell hand. Well, it's actually before that. Let's say, you know, we want to see if anyone's buying. You could go check. Uh, a diamond sword. In this case, I'm going to use the ID. So now you can see uh, D sword. That's just a short name. You know, there's, it'll have short names posted there, but you can you can use many different names. The ID is 276. Has no enchantments on just a regular diamond sword. Uh, there's one total for purchase, uh, zero for sale. The lowest selling price, since there's none, it doesn't exist. The highest buying price I could see is a thousand. So I could say, oh, okay, I'll go sell what's in, uh, yeah, what's in my hand for one, one of them for one thousand dollars, and boom, it'll add that. So if I check my offers again, now you can see offer one is me buying the sword, and offer two is me selling the sword, and you can see it says buying zero and selling zero, because the it has already completed, and uh, you can see right here collection box, I have one sword to collect, and in the selling I have one thousand dollars to collect. So now you could go collect, and you could choose either an offer number, or you could just say collect and it'll collect them all. So if I just go collect, you know, let's say offer one, I got my sword, and I still have $1,000 short. So you can also go buy offers to check only your buy offers, or sell offers to check only your sell offers. And if you just go collect in general, it'll collect every single thing. So now, I forgot the slash. I have my nine my full money again. So now let's say you know you that that was us uh, buying before selling. So let's say you want to sell uh, mossy cobblestone. Uh, I I know that M cobble also works. Let's say I want to sell fifty two of these. 
not 62. Be well, you know what? Let's show. What happens if you don't have enough? So if I want to sell 62 of them for $1 a piece, I only have 52. So now if I fix that, boom, it takes them out of my inventory. And if I go back to my offers, it cl it doesn't show any of your compl old completed ones. So you can see this is my uh, my third offer I put up uh, selling 52 mossy cobblestone for $1 each. So somebody could come along, you know, check it. They could just put up a buy order. So let's say I'm selling it for $1 each. Well, let's say somebody comes and buy, like I come in and buy, I want to say 20 of them. Oh, sorry. Buy, uh, let's use the ID, 48, some mossy cobblestone, and I only want 20 of them. But let's say I want to pay $1.25 each. Like let's say, not 1.125. Let's say they didn't check. So they're paying $1.25 per thing. So if I go back to my offers, you can see the sell or the buyer got all his twenty, but now he has five dollars returning to him. Uh, whoops, you can see that right there. He has five dollars coming back, and the seller, you know, got their twenty bucks for the. They got twenty bucks for the twenty that bought, and you know I had fifty-two selling. Now I only got thirty-two. So if I go collect, it'll collect all of them from what I can. So I got my twenty, but uh, as you can see the. There's still 32 left to be sold, but it got what was in the collection box. So now you can use this for basically every item or uh, block in the game. Uh, you can uh, even ones with meta value, such as you know wool. So if I were to go, you know, check hand, it's going to tell me this is light green or gray cotton. So green, whatever, 35.5. So I could go sell uh, 35.51 for let's just say two. So is that all I had? Oh, no. I got one more here. Uh, I, uh, I forgot to check hand. So, yeah. Oh, okay. That was... Oh, I sold one for two. Yeah, dollars. Whatever. Uh, so, that's that. Um, if I wanted to... I can see offers. There, it will just say wool. However, you still have the meta de uh, value of five. So, now so somebody could be like, Oh, I want to buy... Um, let's say, but wait, wait, let me, let me check. This is, yeah, lime wool. So I could say buy lime wool one for, you know, $5 each. And you can see that it completed. And so it does handle a uh, meta value, uh, meta data. Although it, this mod or this plugin currently does not support enchanted books. You cannot sell those on the market. And also potions, because there was a couple issues with potions. However, I am working on fixing that, so that will be probably added in a future version. Uh, I will try and get enchanted books working, but they're kind of iffy. Um, but speaking of enchantments, let me just uh, collect, get my money and items. Uh, so now I can go back to my offers, and let's say you want... Okay, so maybe I, my 32 mossy cobblestone just isn't selling. You can abort the offer, and you specify which offer number you want to abort as you can tell by the three and that will abort the offer now if i check my offers again you can see i got my 32 yeah. moss cobblestone in my collection box to collect and so i got all that back yeah. now but speaking of enchantments like we were let's say i got this diamond chest plate with protection four or yeah four yeah. so you could check hand uh, and there's no information available because it's not in the uh, item market thing oh. right now because uh, what's loaded by default is all just the original items no enchanted but when we oh. list this for sale it will add itself to the database so let's say we want oh. to sell what would be really easier is to go uh, hand at this point especially with oh. enchanted oh. items but if we wanted to do the long way we could be like uh, D chest oh. Oh. One, uh, let's say we want to sell this for four thousand dollars. Well, let's say four thousand five hundred and twenty cents, and then you would list enchantments. But the enchantments are kind of funky, and I plan on adding something so that you know what the exact name for it is. Um, that's why that's why with enchantments it's really easier to use hand. Um, because this has what was it protection or yeah protection four. Uh, I don't know the exact name for that, so that's I'm definitely going to use hand. Or uh, you could check and see what it is. Oh, I forgot I already did that. Whoops. But uh, after somebody sells one, it'll be in the database. So I could sell what's in my hand one for 4520 
there we go sell offer added and if I check my offers you can see it's uh, quite ugly but selling one diamond chest plate uh, which is ID 311 enchanted with protection underscore environmental colon four so that's the thing that's annoying with because this is how uh, bucket actually recognizes the enchants so that's why it's kind of annoying, um, and what I'm going to be adding later is an enchant or enchantment. Let me just make sure that's not a basic command of something. Okay, good. Uh, well, I'm planning on adding that, and it'll list off all the enchantments so you know the names of them, because if you want, it's kind of annoying. So now if I wanted to buy one, I could buy, um, let's just go 311 just because it's very short. You could do D chest plate again, diamond chest, whatever. Uh, one of them for 4,500 and let's say 25, you know, I'll get my five cents back, but whatever. And then this is where you list the enchantments. So I would need to say protection, environmental, and then colon four. And that's how you enter an enchantments that you want to get. The name, the colon, and four. If, if there's multiple, um, you know, enchantments, then I'd go boom, like comma. Then let's say... Feather, Falling, I'm not sure if that's actually how it is, but one, something like that. And let's see if that's an actual thing. Yeah, that's not an, a valid enchant name. So you can see combined enchants like name, level, and you know, if no level is provided, it'll assume one. So I could even go like that, but Feather Falling is not what it's called. So I'll just go with that. And now you can see I have one in my box. And if I collect all of them... It's kind of annoying with all the caps, so I might put that in lowercase, but I don't know, that'll be something later, and if people get annoyed with it. But anyway, I got my diamond chest plate with protection 4 on it. So, that's good. Um, You should, I don't think you can, you might be able to sell damage items, I'm not 100%, I actually haven't tried that. Um, But I wouldn't recommend it, because nobody's ever going to buy a damaged item, and they, I think they would have to specify the durability. Uh, So, yeah, that's not really great. But now... Actually, if I take this and check, check what's in my hand, you can see. So, ba name is blank, but I'll I'll get that to that later. Oh shit, <laughs> it's not exactly important. Uh, ID is three eleven. Chances protection environmental four. So that's if people have already sold these and bought them, or, then you know, or put them at least on the market, then you know what the enchantment name is if you have an item and you go to check it. So that will help too. But I plan on definitely adding that enchants command and that will let people be able to find out what all the different enchantments are. So anyway, uh, hopefully this has been enlightening. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.